Korea's finance minister has offered a few more details on the government's proposed budget supplement. Although he declined to comment on the exact amount, he did say he wants the budget passed by the end of the month and outlined a few areas of priority. Our Kim a n u l has more. Finance Minister h y u n o s e o k says the government will submit a proposal for a budget supplement to the National Assembly next week, containing details about the size and method of allocation, with the goal of getting the bill passed by the end of the month. During a meeting of economy-related ministers on Wednesday, the finance minister said that supplementing the state budget is inevitable given the current economic circumstances. The tax revenue situation has gotten worse this year. So competition for tax revenue has become inevitable. It is necessary to expand government spending in order to revive and stabilize the economy. The finance minister added that the first priority should be to improve the distribution chains for fresh produce and support entrepreneurship. He also said that some of the money should be used to support the president's job creation plans, and this year's job creation efforts should focus on investments in human capital for information, communications, and technology programs. He added that revising housing policies and coming up with countermeasures for cyber threats are also important areas the extra budget should address. Although the exact figure is yet to be announced, government officials previously indicated that the extra budget could amount to 17 trillion won, or roughly 15 billion U.S. dollars. If approved, this would be the second largest budget supplement passed since the 2008 financial crisis. Kim a n u l Arirang News.